Uh, Coach Clark, I mean, legendary football coach. I mean, people can, you know, you can say, say what you want, but, I mean, that man's a legend. You know, bringing back a program that literally, literally bringing it back from the dead. I mean, um, you know, that's almost unheard of. Uh, he'll definitely have a 30 for 30 one day um, because that's just the kind of man he was. I mean, he was a hard worker and, you know, he instilled it in all of us. Um, same with Coach Vincent. I mean, and, and I want to give Coach Reeves his credit to the D.C. from when I was there. I mean, those three guys, they just, um, you know, built this. I mean, they literally built the program from scratch, you know. And so for them to come in and, you know, take over a program and start from the ground up, starting with the facilities and then, you know, working on from there, it was uh, really impressive. What was their plan, you know, their their whole you know, the culture they were trying to set, because like you said, they were bringing it back from, you know, doing away with the program. Well, you know, um, we all had a chip on our shoulder. Um, everybody there had a chip on their shoulder. You know, when you – I mean, because we did have a little pub, you know, from not having a program and then coming back. And their first year back, went six and six, get the new facilities. And then I come in and, um, you know, after that first year that they had and – you could already tell that the culture was starting to get set, but you know, I mean, it takes years for that to happen. And, you know, they just, I mean, they pounded it in us every day, you know, you're going to be champions. You're going to be champions. You know, you just have to keep that mindset. You just have to keep pushing every single day to, to work for it. Um, nobody's going to give it to you, especially at a little school like UAB that is coming back from the dead. Um, you know, we have to earn everything that we have here and um, you guys have to go fight for it. And that's it. But that's what we did every day, man. Well, playing off of that culture topic, what were those summer workouts and fall camp like? Oh, man. I mean, they were intense. Um, you know, like I said, they were trying to develop a championship football program. And, you know, in order to do that, um, people have to work hard and it has to be intense. Um, I thought I was going to die that first summer, man. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. But, uh, you know, you get through it and then you get to fall camp. And, you know, I mean, 5.30 to 11 o'clock at night and, you know, every single day. But, um, you know, always kept us working, always pushed us, uh, pushed us mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, but without them doing that, I mean, I could definitely say I wouldn't be the man I am today. And I'm sure everybody else from that football team can say the same. Um, you know, they just instilled such a work ethic and a – grind in us you know just not even to be football players but to be better people better you know brothers husbands you know dads um you know they just everything that they did was to help us and it really and, and then it showed on the football field like we mentioned you know uab was bringing their program back you know how much of a factor did you know did that play with that team that you were on in the recruiting class you know that came in with you of you know kind of hey we're going to set a new culture and bring UAB football back better than it was before. And how did you see, you know, that kind of trickle down to the younger players? Because you guys, you know, won a conference championship and won the Boca Raton Bowl in 2019. So how did you see all that play out? Oh, that was a crazy year, man. Um, that was my that was my first fall there. And just to see, like I said, I mean, we just with everybody having that chip on your shoulder, I mean, they were pounding into us. We're going to win a championship. We're going to win a championship. And, you know, we truly believe that. And, I mean, just to go in every single day, you know, 5 a.m. workouts, and, you know, get after it, you know, leave nothing in the weight room, leave nothing on the field at practice, leave nothing in the meeting rooms, you know, just give everything one, your 100% all and just watch what else falls into place, right? Um and I mean, that's exactly what happened. We just all, I mean, every, every person on that team busted their ass day in, day out. Um, you know, everybody from, like I said, Spencer Brown, you know, most recognized in our team that year to, you know, freshmen coming in on the scout team. You know, we just all wanted, we just were all hungry for that championship. And, you know, I mean, nobody else can say that, that they've been a part of a football team that come back from the dead and two years later won a conference championship. Like that doesn't happen, you know, and so for us to be able to do that and uh, be a part of something so special, I mean, like I said, there's going to be a 30 for 30 about them one day for sure. Um, I mean, it's it's historic. And, you know, I'm really glad that I got to be a part of that. 